Hello, so let's start with summer 21, QP21, and we have already done question number 1 and 2. So question number 3 says that a pendulum consists of a solid sphere, which is as shown. This height is 0.93, the momentum is 0.72 newtons, and the kinetic energy given is 0.86 joules. <coughs> now, Part 1 says that draw a solid line to represent the displacement of the center of the sphere at the position y from x. So we have to draw the shortest line from x to y. So this is the line. It starts from the center of the sphere or the circle x to the center of the sphere y. This B part says that show that the mass of the sphere is 0.3 kgs. We are given with the kinetic energy which is half m v square which equals 0.86 joules. And we are also given with the momentum which is 0.72. So what we can do is we can divide equation 1 by equation 2. Now we can do the cancellation. M cancels out with M. V vanishes. And so we are here with the velocity. So the velocity becomes V equals 2 into 0.86 divided by 0.72 which is 2.388 now plug in the value of velocity into one of the equations and find m so we have plugged in the value so our mass becomes point three kgs So in the next part it says calculate the height h. So we are already given with the kinetic energy which will be converted to potential energy given that no heat losses occur which equals 0.86. So what you can do is equate 0.86 to mgh. So our m is 0.3 kgs, g is 9.81 and h we need to find equals 0.86. So our height becomes 0.2922. So D part says the distance between point P and the center of the sphere is 0.93 meters. When the sphere is at position Y, the string is at an angle theta to the vertical show that theta is 47 degrees. So we already found the height which is 0.29. 0.2922 so we can calculate this height and uh, this forms a tri uh, triangle so this forms a right angle triangle this length becomes 0 0.93 minus 2 point 0.2922 which is 0 0.64 and this theta and this theta are equal because they are alternate angles so we can apply cos theta cos theta equals 0.64 divided by 0.93 so theta becomes cos inverse of 0.64 divided by 0.93 which approximately equals 47 degrees D part, E part says that for the sphere at position Y, calculate the moment of its weight about point P. So at this position, here is the weight which is mg and we need to calculate this distance which we can find easily because now we have theta and the lens. Now we need to find this D. So this D is sine theta equals d over 0.93 so d becomes 
theta which we know is 47 so sine 47 multiplied by 0.93 makes d equals 0.68 meters so let's plug in the values 0.3 mg 9.81 multiplied by 0.68 meters so this becomes 2 newton meter so part f says state and explain whether the sphere is in equilibrium when it is stationary at position y no the resultant force is acting on the sphere it is not in equilibrium moving on to question number four it says that for a progressive wave state what is meant by wavelength so wavelength is basically the distance between two successive interest particles so part b says a light from a laser has a wavelength of 460 nanometer in a vacuum calculate the period of the wave just apply v equals to f lambda put the velocity as 3 into 10 to power 8 and evaluate the period replace frequency with one over time period evaluate the answer that would come up to 1.5 into 10 to the power negative 15 seconds C says that the light from a laser is incident normally on a diffraction grating. Describe the diffraction of light waves at the grating. So this is basically the waves of light are incident onto the openings of grating and they spread geometrically. So in part D it shows the graph for a fourth order maxima from zero to fourth of graph of sine theta versus lambda. It says that the gradient of the graph is G. Determine the expression in terms of G for the distance D between the centers of the two adjacent slits in the diffraction gradient. So we are given with the graph of sine theta versus lambda. So basically our gradient would be sine theta over lambda and our formula. The basic formula is n lambda equals D sine theta. So what we can do is sine theta by lambda equals n by d so this would become n by d equals sine theta by lambda is our gradient which is change in y over change in x so that would be g so it says to tell us about the distance so d is equals to n over d is equals to n over g so we have a fourth order so it could be 4 over g so d equals 4 over g so it says that on figure 4.1 sketch a graph to show the results that would be obtained for the second order maxima we have already uh, found the expression n equals gd so we know that our order and our gradient are directly proportional so for the fourth order the gradient and now it's asked for a second order maxima gradient so the gradient the existing gradient would be halved let's see and draw so for the fourth order there were one two three and four blocks so for second order there would be from this horizontal line two blocks up so that would be one and two so we have to draw a line from here to this line so if this line had gradient 4 this line would have gradient 2 so the gradient has been halved that's it for this video to all my new viewers do subscribe my channel so that you can get my new videos in time and thank you for watching